Hi friends, it is Claire from Woodshed Theory, and today we are going to talk about five things I wish I had known about autism before getting diagnosed. Hey there friends, I hope you had a great holiday weekend and that you're doing well. Today I wanted to discuss five things that I wish I had known about autism prior to getting diagnosed. The number one thing I wish I had known before being diagnosed with autism is that autism does not have a certain look. It is a neurological disorder that can prevent in different ways in different people. It is not affected by your gender or your race or your religion or your economic status. You can be any kind of person and still be affected by ASD because it's not on your outside, it's on your inside and how your brain is wired. It will affect the way that you behave and how you perceive the world, uh, but you can literally look like anybody or anything or any person or anything and still be autistic. You could be purple. You could be an alien. It's an autistic brain, not an autistic body. Maybe that's a good way to put it. Number two, just because someone is on the spectrum doesn't mean that they don't want to be in relationships or have relationships with other people. And that could be romantic relationships, platonic relationships, friendships, any ship you can think of. In most cases, actually, I've found that people on the spectrum appreciate and see the need for human relationships. I don't want to speak for everyone, but especially in females in my research, we see a greater need for relationships and friendships than maybe ASD males do. Um, an ASD male might, not in every case, not see as much of a need to connect with people, but especially in girls, we definitely crave that or long for that, can see it in others and would like that as well. Now, these relationships can look and feel different than maybe a neurotypical relationship would look and feel, but that doesn't mean that the desire for the relationship is not there. So if you are ever wondering if you should ask your ASD friend if they wanna join in on something, please do. They at least like to be asked. I don't know if they'll say yes, but building relationships and having relationships is something that a lot of ASD people do want, but maybe we don't know how to go about doing that or we don't know what that looks like or we don't know how to connect with you. So the desire is there and I don't think I realized that before I was diagnosed. Maybe I thought that autistic people were shut off from the world and weren't interested in all and weren't interested at all in building, maintaining relationships. And that is not true. I wish I had known that. Number three, some of the world's most successful people have had autism. This was one of the most encouraging things that I had learned when researching my diagnosis to come to a better understanding of what I personally was dealing with and how ASD affects my life. Maybe I can do another video just on this topic because I don't want to go into a long list of famous people who are on the spectrum right this second. However, I will say it was really encouraging for me that some of the greatest minds in human history had a similar brain to mine. It encouraged me in the way that knowing that my diagnosis wasn't necessarily a setback and it encouraged me to really apply myself and try new things. I know that my brain works differently than other people, but that not, isn't necessarily a bad thing. Some of the greatest discoveries and advances in human history have come out of autistic minds. In fact, 
a lot of them have. And without autistic people, we wouldn't be where we're at today in technology, medicine, etc. So I was really happy to find out that a lot of really famous and important people were, are on the spectrum and that made me feel a lot better. The number four thing I wish I had known before my diagnosis is that autism is not a death sentence. That kind of sounds dramatic, more dramatic than I wanted it to sound. What do I mean by this? Even myself, I struggled to see autistic people for who they were before I understood autism more fully. My personal experience looked a certain way, and that usually meant having a full or part-time carer and other supportive services. That is obviously not my experience, so I didn't know that autism could look different ways. This is true in a lot of cases that someone might need full support, lifetime support, full-time care, part-time care. And that is wonderful if that person needs that and has that, that's great. However, a lot of people on the spectrum go to school, have um, degrees from university, have careers, have relationships and get married, buy houses, have a family. I don't know exactly what I thought an autistic person lived like or looked like before I was diagnosed, but it might have been something like in Rain Man where he lives in a long-term care facility um, and has full-time support. It wasn't necessarily my scenario where I'm able to be on my own but maybe need a little bit of additional support um, or additional emotional support, etc. Here's where I want to say I was wrong about my thoughts and ideas on autistic people. And you know what? It is a good thing to be able to say that you were wrong in the past and own up to that and that your thoughts and ideas have changed. There are some things that we learn when we're younger or that we assume when we're younger that are not correct. And growth and being able to say I was wrong is super important to becoming a stronger and better person and it's a good example for others. I'm not embarrassed that I was wrong, I just was wrong. So now I'm moving forward knowing that autism can look like anything and affects people in a lot of different ways, but it doesn't necessarily mean that your life is over, that you're not gonna have a good life, or, you know, woe is me, my kid has autism, or I have autism. You can still have a beautiful, wonderful life with the brain that you have. It's not the end of the world. The final thing that I wish I had known before I was diagnosed, so that's number five, I wish I had known that there were more women on the spectrum. In fact, I wish I had known that more girls had autism like me out there as a whole. Autism, as I've mentioned before, can be very lonely and isolating. Meeting and connecting with other autistic women since my diagnosis has been both healing and helpful, very insightful. Having the support system and a community has done wonders for my self-confidence and has been a amazing resource for getting to know myself better as well as getting to know other autistic women. There is or has been a stigma in the past that girls couldn't have autism or that autism is a disorder for boys. That is not what the science is finding recently. They are finding that more and more girls have autism, that it presents differently in females, and therefore a lot of girls were missed 
and not given the attention or time that they needed as an autistic person growing up. So I wish I had known that it was possible for girls to have autism, that that can look a lot of different ways, especially as I mentioned, girls might crave relationships more and they might want to fit in more via masking with a neurotypical group of people. That is something that you might not see in a male's presentation of their autism. Not saying that it's not possible. I'm just saying that we see it more in the female autistic community. So yeah, I really wish I had known that there were female autists out there and that I was one of them and that I could have a beautiful and wonderful support system um, with this group of women who were going through many of the same struggles and tribulations that I was going through. So those were five things that I wish I had known before I had been diagnosed with autism and five things that I thought would be good for you to know as a, an autistic person or maybe a neurotypical who knows an autistic person. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If there are other things that you wish people had known before being diagnosed, why don't you go ahead and comment them down below? I'd love to hear them and I will talk to you soon.